even though it is your fault. <laughs> what a nuisance. I mean, I have to use the service lift now. <laughs> but my next guest, Possums, passes every test. With flying colours, I might say. He has found a place in my home and a place in my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's most famous artist, Jason Donovan! Conditioner. I haven't. I can't sit a You're not conditioner. even ready, darling. In my dressing room, you go in. Right. On the right, there's a mirror. You push the mirror. Right. It opens. It's a cupboard. Uh huh. You'll find glass shelves there, and mm -hmm. on the top, <laughs> you'll see a long rubber tube with a bulb on one end. Now, next to that, <laughs> next to that is. Please, you're following me, Jason. Yeah, no, 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 it's yeah. Next to that is some herbal shampoo it's mm -hmm. herbal in other words it smells but it was strange con conditioner that's it now please right. quick okay I'll see you in a moment all right yeah please oh jason donovan no. my next please my next house guest is squeaky clean she's feisty she's foxy and she's spunky they call her glitters Thank you, darling. Thank you, Beautiful. The badge, badge. The badge. The badge. You. Oh, there we are, Jace. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Let me look at you. The memories that come flooding back. <laughs> we both come from the same town. The same hometown of Melbourne. We certainly do. Oh. But I knew you when you were a little bubba. Yes. I did. <laughs> you see... I remember you had a little dog called Benji. I can remember That's Benji. Right. Yes, sir. And you were always breaking your bike. Do you remember that? Yes, I was. Um, yeah, are we actually... Really? You can see, it's spooky. It's spooky. Um, it this, is isn't... spooky. It is spooky. We had the name of my dog, Benji, actually. We were, we were talking about whether to, to call the dog. Because so, he's got two black eyes, very black eyes. And he's a white dog. And a friend of mine came around and wanted to call him Sultana Face. He said, <laughs> but, um, but we ended up with Benji because I'd actually seen the, the film Benji before that. So, oh, so that's what I decided to do. Yeah. And, and bikes. And the mm. possums used to come into the garden. Remember those little possums you that, used to love? That's right. How do you know all this? Yeah. <laughs> And you remember once when you were a little boy? Yeah. You saw there were two little dogs playing wheelbarrows in the back. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? And you said to your dad, what are they doing? And, and your father said, well, one of them is blind and the other one is, is pushing him to the hospital. Do you remember that? Well, oh. I, funnily enough, I do remember it, actually. Yeah, because yeah, um, my... It's a true story. <laughs> I'm serious. It's totally true. The, um, the dogs were out there, sort of, you know, it was that time of the year, or, or it was, it was, you know... A little stage they go through. Yeah, there is a stage they go through. <laughs> we'd get one poodle and match it with another poodle, I suppose, and um, my parents had actually left... I think Dad was going out to... He was working in cop shop, do you remember? Oh, I remember that remember cereal. Remember cop shop, yeah. Um, Jason's father is a famous Australian actor and he was in this series. That's correct. Police series. Yeah, and, um, and the dogs got stuck. <laughs> and I was the only one left home. I didn't know what to do, so... I should hope not, so, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Separating animals, playing hospitals <coughs> with each other. Well, look, I was and am a bit psychic. You know, I was called a witch, Glennis. But witch is a very old word meaning extremely clever and brilliant mm. woman. Mm. And people used to bring their children to me, you know, wanting me to look into the future. But I, this is how I met you. One day there was a little tap on my kitchen door and it was Jason's father. 
Terry with this little bundle and he said, can I have a reading? Mrs. Everidge, as I was then. I said, I don't read teacups anymore. He said, well, I've got an old Farrex bowl with a, the cat running away with a spoon on it, you know, uh -huh, Humpty Dumpty. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I said, well, I can't read that. But I, I was into something very special then, something called Nappamancy. I said, I could read the future from a kiddie's nappy. I could. <laughs> and luckily, luckily, <laughs> by just releasing a safety pin, your future was unfurled before me. I didn't study it carefully, but I went, I went through the motions and I was looking. And you know what I saw, Jason? What did you see? I saw your chart success. I did. Just there. I saw a lot of number ones and I saw... <laughs> I saw the occasional number two. I <laughs> Only the very occasional. But you remember that was the day you poked your finger in my faff? You did. That was my really? sewing machine. It's a, a faff. It's a sewing machine. A very upmarket foreign one. And you stitched, accidentally stitched your fingers together. Did I? And you fell asleep for 18 years. I did. And you woke up a star. You yeah, did. No, I invented that little bit, but are you having fun, well, Jason? Are yeah. you having lots of fun? No, I am, actually. I mean, I suppose, you know, despite the sort of... Um, the pace of it all, I guess. You know, we're, we're right. sort of travelling quite a lot, and uh, you're away from your sort of family and friends. You are. I think that's but I, very hard. It is. It's hard, but I, um, I, I enjoy what I do, and I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. So, and also travelling for me, I guess, at, at sort of 21, is um, I've sort of seen quite a few European countries and American countries. I guess I'm pretty lucky. So. You're very, very lucky, and you give so much pleasure to so many people. Thank it's you. a privilege to be given a gift like this, I think. That's how I look at my wonderful gift. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can you remember your dad's wedding at all? I can remember my father's wedding. I mean, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, were no, you at the wedding? I, could, I didn't see you at the wedding. No, I wasn't at that occasion. No, well, um, I do remember the wedding, actually. There was, a, um, there was a particular instance. I was actually the best man. The best man at the your father's wedding? best man wedding. at my father's How wedding. How old then, Jake? I was 13. 13? <laughs> yes. And um, my father, see, my parents had got divorced, so my father got remarried, of course. Right. And um, I was the best man, and I had a ring. And I kept it in my pocket, and I was pretty nervous because of Dad's wedding. And, whatever oh. and I had to place the ring on the book with a priest in front of me and there was all the crowds sort of gathered around we actually had it in the backyard of our house oh. <laughs> 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 we did I mean it's oh, yes. it's You're not... always an unconventional family <laughs> <laughs> different <laughs> and um and so I placed the uh, I placed the ring on the book I put it at the top of the book you know when when dad sort of nudged me and said now now you know I sort of put it on top and uh, it slid down the book, right down and just dribbled into the crowd. <laughs> it's boring. So I had to retreat from the crowd, which was pretty embarrassing. But for a boy of that age, very embarrassing. It was pretty embarrassing. But you found it in the end. Yes, I did. Well, you followed in your father's <laughs> footsteps, didn't you, Jason? Certainly. He was an actor and uh -huh. you were an actor. Mm -hmm. Did he ever wish you would be something else? Did he ever hope that you might follow another profession? Well. I think, I mean, I think like most actors, I mean, obviously, you've been around a lot of actors just throughout today, your life. Just today, just tonight. Just tonight, yeah. They're dead now. <laughs> no, 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 well, no? no. Multiple fracture, I would say. <laughs> they got out, did they, or not? I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> Well, I suppose, I mean, most actors sort of say, don't get into this job because it's terribly insecure and um, you're never really assured of, of where you sort of... No. ...next bit of money's coming from or whether you're going to work or whether you're not going to work. And um, I guess Dad really wanted me to a, be a plumber or a, a, plumber. a carpenter or... <laughs> oh, there's or still time for that, there Jason. Is, there's still time. <laughs> Little Kylie, of course, I didn't know when she was a bubba. Didn't you? But uh, I adore her. Funnily enough, when I was young, Jason, I was the image of Kylie. Really? I was. I was which gives yeah, you a I rough idea what well, she's sort of going to look like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> you worked so well together, and yet there were no bedroom scenes at all, were there, in Neighbours? Well, there, there sort of was, and they were very censored. <laughs> they, they I hope so. Yeah, they were. They sort I of. I mean, of that. Yeah. I approve of that. You approve yeah, of that? I do. I do. Yeah. I mean, actually, I think the last scene that when when Kylie left Neighbours, which would have been nearly two years ago, in terms of production, yes. not actually on air in Britain, mm -hmm. um, well, her last scene was in the bedroom. Wasn't too raunchy though. No, was no, it? we kept it very. <laughs> I mean, there's a certain there's a certain um, uh, element or or area you can't go I beyond. Agree. Uh, Otherwise, with television what is the area. door on the bedroom for? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I agree, and I think Sorry. sometimes these things are a little bit better left to the imagination. Sure. I always thought, I'm going to let, because I feel this lovely boy and this marvellous woman, Glennis, and I feel I could talk to you about anything. And I probably <laughs> will. <laughs> but I, that when I first saw Neighbours, I thought that it was a documentary. I thought that it was a hidden... <laughs> It was a hidden camera in an Australian home. <laughs> and I thought that your character was just a Jason lookalike. I did. I thought Scott, Scott. was a lookalike. Yeah, and then I found it was actors. It was uncanny. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's a, I, think, I mean, I think it's a very natural sort of show. I mean, I think it depicts sort of Australian life. That's what we I wanted. Do. That's what I, I mean think that's it does. That's what we wanted to do and that's what was so important I think to me was not to go and play someone totally removed from myself. Its popularity was... thrills me and your success in it. What about the Australian reaction to your success? How's that been, Jason? Um I think I mean I, I obviously now with Australia obviously I've left neighbours. Um, the music doesn't go down so well in Australia simply because radio doesn't give it the support that it could. And do they say occasionally rather catty things well, about Jason Well, there's, there's a thing called the tall poppy syndrome. You mean if you grow a little bit too tall they snip, snip, snip you, you off a little yeah, bit? Yeah, they tend to, but um, I, I have know. encountered that. Have you? Joan Sutherland has had it. All of us have gone through that experience. <laughs> and you know what I do? A little bit yeah. of advice, Jason. When I go back to Australia, I underplay my success. Uh -huh. I just wear small rings right. and <laughs> low shoes, you know, frocks that aren't too gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't, I call myself Mrs. Everidge, I don't overdo the titles and things. And I have special copies of English newspapers printed giving me bad reviews. <laughs> they, they love that, they do. So just bear that in mind, okay, Jason. I'll, next time I get back, I'll remember that one. You're a big hit amongst all your young fans, Jason. <laughs> Little bubba boppers, I call it. <laughs> How do you explain that, these very young people who adore you? Um, I don't know. It's I, inexplicable, it isn't is, it? It's unexplicable. And yet it's complimentary and very, very nice. Yeah, well, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, I, I don't think it sort of matters what Neither age Neither do I. Fans. It doesn't matter. And I, uh, I attract a wider cross-section of certainly do. young people, you old people, middle-aged people. <laughs> <laughs> now you're a megastar. Are you going to invest in property at all? Please? Well, I think it's best to put your money into solid things. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> Look at this. I've invested in this. I mean, I have a home in Mustique, Malibu and Melbourne. But this is beautiful, isn't it? That's um, fabulous. Are you thinking of buying a Yeah, I, home I would in love to sort of buy... Well, I mean, possibly if there's a... This there's, is not for sale. No, 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 but I'm thinking more in the same unit. Maybe we what, could... build something upstairs? Yeah, maybe. Possibly. I'm sorry, darling. I should say this, though. I just bought a little slummy street in London. I bought quite a few houses in it. Uh -huh. Uh, it's called Downing Street, Glenn. <laughs> they're all pretty semi-detached. <laughs> uh, I've got five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> really? One of these days, I could be a neighbour of yours, Glenn, okay. if you play your cards right. Okay. I feel a song coming on. <laughs> this is familiar, isn't it?
about? Are you saying that I should feel guilty about something? Because if you are, I don't know exactly what I've done wrong. <laughs> 